So today I'm going to show you how to check what your local network speeds are. Um, even if you have a bunch of gigabit equipment and you think everything should be running at gigabit, um, this tool can help you sort out if you're actually getting the speeds you would think you are. It can also help you diagnose uh, maybe the weak link in your chain because your, everything is going to communicate as fast as the slowest device in your communication chain. So um, the tool is called iPerf and it's used by network administrators and everything to test speeds. It's a very powerful tool, but it can also be pretty simple to use if you just follow these directions. So first you just need to go to iperf.fr and download the newest uh, iperf for your operating system. It works on a whole bunch of ones. I'm just going to show you Windows today. I will post this link in the description so you can just copy and paste it, but um, just essentially download the newest one and it should only take a few seconds to download. And then once it is downloaded, you'll have a uh, zip file just like this one. So just right click on it to extract it and hit extract all and then hit extract. And then you're going to have a new folder uh, wherever you unzipped it from uh, called iperf again. So it's going to have the same name as your zip file. And uh, so essentially just open that up and then open up the folder inside of it. And what we're going to need to do is run this iperf3 program, but you can't just double click on it to run it. It's a command line program, but the command line options are really simple and you're going to have to do this on two computers on your network. So uh, I'm going to show you first the server setup and then you just need to do the same thing on a different computer and do the client. So, um, so first to do your server, hold shift and then right click in the window, like the shift keyboard or key on your keyboard. And then you're going to have an option right here. So what mine says is open PowerShell window here. Yours will either say open command window or PowerShell. This will work very similarly in both. So whichever one you have there, just click on it. So if yours is bright blue, you have the PowerShell. If it's black, you have command prompt. So the only difference is when you're running iperf, you need to put in a, another little uh, option there. So, um, so first thing that we need to do is on the computer that we're going to be running the server on, we need to know the IP address because the host needs to be able to connect back to the server. And so it just needs to know where it is on the network. So to do that, you just need to type in IP config and I'll post this on the description as well, but this just tells you your network configuration. So the important one here is whichever network adapter you're using, you need to get that IP address. So if you want the Wi-Fi adapter, look for the one that says Wi-Fi. If you are using like a hardwired, it's going to be something like ethernet adapter. So this is my ethernet adapter right here. Um, I don't have my Wi-Fi connected right now, so it just doesn't give one. So, but if you were using Wi-Fi, then select that one instead. So what I need is the 192.168.1.3. And so just write that down and save that for later. And I'll show you how that's used. So after, um, after you've got your IP address on your server, now you need to start iperf as a server. So to do that, if you're in PowerShell, you need to add dot slash first. If you're in the command prompt, you do not need the dot slash. So that's the little difference here. So everything else is going to be the same. It's just you need that dot slash if you're in PowerShell. So then uh, you would type in iperf3.exe. So it's the same as what this application is right here. And then you need to add the server or client um, tag here. So the first computer, you're going to uh, do a dash s for the server and then you just hit enter. So now this is hosting a server and it's ready for an incoming connection to test the speed. Um, I'm going to use the same computer to do the client on. So uh, for you, you would now go to your other computer. So, um, so on your other computer, um, now you would need to do the same like download iperf and get to the same point where you just have a blank um, PowerShell or command prompt. And then again, you run iperf exe and now here you put dash c for client like this is the client connecting back to the server and then you put in the ip address of the other computer so i did a uh ip config on the other computer that i want that i'm running the server on and there i found that its ip address is 192.168.1.120 so this is the entire command so again like you would run the server on one of your computers and find its IP address. And then you go to another computer and you run this with the client and you put in its IP address and then you just hit enter. And what it's going to do is just send a bunch of information back and forth and it's going to do it several times. So it gets an average of what your speed is over several seconds. So um, essentially I'm getting about 90 megs, which is actually at my theoretical limit because I'm only running 10, 100. I don't have gigabit equipment here. So um, this is about expected and it's not bad for 10, 100. Normally I like to see it closer to like right at 95 megs, but this is not bad. So um, this is essentially a great way to just test if you're getting the speeds you should think you're getting. 
And then also, um, it's not just Windows that uses iPerf. A lot of routers can use iPerf. Uh, Android phones can use iPerf. Whole bunch of devices, and the setup is really similar. Like you can do the same thing, like dash C, and then as long as you're running an iPerf server on whatever that other device is, you can uh, just type in its IP address and get the speed to that device. So.